basically was giving her money saying don't go back to the guy like you got money now and this is what she posted before she bailed the guy out that goofy bitch do y'all think i would be that stupid like you motherfuckers gotta be like the dumbest motherfuckers in the world because if y'all think i will go back to him maybe that's what the fuck you would do you dumb stupid motherfuckers stop asking me am i gonna go back to somebody who fucking did my face like this Go f the ass, stupid motherfuckers. So she posted that, and long story short, she's back with this guy. And you can see that it shows, as I sit here and think about how I'm thankful for the man God has brought into my life. No, he isn't a perfect man, but he's a trying man. No one is perfect, and anyone who claims to be is a fraud to themselves. Anyone who knows me knows how far I've come, and it has everything to do with the, the man I'm choosing to be with for the rest of my life. I'm going to speak once and once only upon our situation. I don't owe anyone an explanation of what happened that night because what happened was left in the past. And you can see. So basically what I want to bring up is not to really bring her information in there, but to use her as an example. What do you think we should do in people in these situations where they do show signs of abuse? And they're receiving money to get out of the abuse. And for her example, use that money to fund the abuser and go from there. Like, do you feel like it should be like fraud or they should get in trouble for that? Like, I don't like how it, it should be some type of fine or something. Like, how you gonna get all this money together? You know, all these people who care about you, all these people who care about your safety. How you gonna take that money? And then bail out the person that did the stuff to you that made me send you the money. That makes no sense. Exactly. I need I need the A, need my money back. Or you need to get fined some way, somehow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like because don't you can't you get into trouble, like for example, if uh like um let me get let me get it right here real quick. Like, if, for example, if I did a GoFundMe page for uh, my dog, like, to get my dog surgery, and I raised over $10,000, and they gave it to me. But instead of me getting my dog surgery, I went to go buy me a new car. Can you, like, I can get in trouble for that, right? Because you're using, a, like, it's basically, like, false I don't think I don't think you even have to notify anybody that you did what you supposed to have did. I think you can just take the money and just do whatever the you know what I'm saying. I don't think it's nobody to to verify, it, bro. I don't know. Let me. Are we actually about to look this up because I noticed. Have you ever used the GoFundMe before? I have not, but I'm about to actually look that up really quick. Let me see. Uh, no, I have before, but like I said, I don't think it's nobody to verify what you spent that money on. Cause the money really just gets transferred to your bank account. It's like a, uh, it's like a cash app kind of. So if it go all in one pot from the website. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to see, cause someone said you can get in trouble like that. Uh... I mean, obviously if you continually making accounts saying I need money to do this and I need money to do that, I need money to do this. They, it's going to be a red flag somewhere. It's going to be like, damn, what you need money for? Now, like, wait, you... now honestly, I just looked up a rule for GoFundMe.com. Protecting your generosity is our top priority. If GoFundMe finds that the fundraiser donation has been misused, then you may be eligible for a refund. Some requirements and restrictions may apply. Please review our health center and guarantee policy terms for your claim. So this is for anybody that actually funded the money. So what you're saying is definitely correct. So if you're receiving the money, you can just actually do whatever you want um, when you got it. But if you actually funded some money and found out that they were doing something like this, then um, yeah, you can actually pull in. Um, to get a request to get your refund. I actually about to put this into her discretion right now, just to let people know that 
is a thing. Oh, one second. Dang, I, I, I didn't mean to post this. Oh, she deleted it. She deleted my stuff that quick. Oh, no, she didn't. I was about to say. Hold on. I'm trying to edit it, but it won't let me edit it. Wait a second. So what advice do you have for the, for the listeners in abusive uh, situations? Uh, um, so the advice I actually have uh, for the viewers in this situation is, hey, if you do find, if you do find somebody that in these type of situation and look like they're misusing the money, do contact GoFundMe, get your refund to show the proof. Um, B... I really feel like people be crying wolf, man. Like that's why I say it. I don't support abuse. I don't support emotional, physical abuse or mistreatment at all. But I feel like if you got a way to get out of a situation, you constantly going back. I really don't feel sorry for you, honestly. Because it's like, it's like, like I get it. Like if you can't leave per se, let's say like you left a situation, but they found you and they forced their way still in, or they're like underneath you like you know what i'm saying like you need real additional help to get you out of that situation that's totally understandable but you actually for in this case someone's in jail you did you press charges on this guy he's locked away you out of that environment you back in your family or whoever in a better stable environment like he's out of your life restraining order and all but you willingly to bail him out take away the restraining order say you don't want to file any charges anymore and go back with that person. But then if he does it again, then try to play victim again to say, oh, I don't know why I'm doing, like, I, I don't feel like, no. Yeah, it's if like, you're constantly yeah. playing victim, I do see a problem with that. But at the same time, I think the problem mainly be, people be, I want to say it's kind of anxiety in a way. You know what I'm saying? People, they're so afraid of starting over. They're so afraid of losing everything they built, per se. You know what I'm saying? Some people that do that, they do it on and on for years and years and years. So it's like that's what they, you know, used to. Like, you know, I had this one situation where uh, they would tell me, like, oh, uh, I should know that, you know, we're going to get back together or I should know that that the fight is, you know, it, it ain't it ain't as serious as I would believe it to be. But in a way, like, how am I supposed to know that? You know what I'm saying? You, it, the, that toxic part of relationships, bro, it, it, it really don't fix nothing, man. It, and that, and, that, and honestly, after you saying that, I could see that where people feel like they're stuck. Like, for example, if you have three kids, for example, or this kid's period, if you have kids with an individual, people scared that they can't, especially a guy or, or a woman, it doesn't matter. They're scared they can't start over because they have that tie with that person. That they're Yeah, they in love and all that stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. But I feel like at the same time, you got to just understand, is especially when you do have kids, they're in that environment as well. It's not just all about what you're comfortable with. It's like, it's really about, I look at, at the kids you have, and you, and you know about the situation about the football player. You saw that video? Of him throwing his uh he's on a run right now. Uh I'm gonna show you that next to another abuse. Uh it's going viral right now. I meant to tell you about that as well. Um I don't think I've seen that. Hold on. I'm about to put that for the viewers. Let me show you. I'm about to play this real quick for you. But I'm saying, man, it's getting out of hand. I'm about to actually say something else after this, too. Oh, let me show you. This is new. It is getting out of hand, man. 
I hate to see anybody getting abused. For real, for real. Yeah, it's not right. And uh, let's play this clip and I'll tell you. Uh... In Florida, for a former NFL player who was caught on camera brutally beating his ex-girlfriend in front of their baby boy. And we must warn you tonight, this video is extremely violent and disturbing. Let's go to Louie right now. Don't no with more on this one, Louie. Yeah, very unsettling, Calvin. And even this attack happened last Saturday, and the video is absolutely gut-wrenching to watch. Police in Oakland, Florida, now issuing a warrant for Zachary Stacy's arrest. Again, we have to warn you, the video is extremely disturbing. Here it is. Stacy is seen punching his ex-girlfriend, Kristen Evans, twice in the head before picking her up and throwing her into the TV, causing that to fall over. Stacy then picks her up again and slams her onto a baby bounce chair before leaving the house. This all happened while their five-month-old son was sitting on the couch. The victim was treated at the hospital for multiple bruises. She is sharing these videos on social media, begging the public to help catch him. 30-year-old Stacy played in the NFL with the New York Jets and the St. Louis Rams. Evans filed for a restraining order against him, claiming he's been abusing her since she became pregnant with his baby last year. Several NFL players have denounced the attack on Twitter, at least two saying, quote, any man that puts his hands on a woman is a coward. Evans also filed a restraining order against Stacy, revealing that he was voluntarily hospitalized for mental illness in March and is taking medication for his condition. Stacy now faces felony charges of aggravated battery and criminal mischief. Calvin. Uh, yeah, so I really, now after seeing that, man, I just feel like we got to, and I'm not saying everybody's perfect. Everybody has issues, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like we got to stop playing the mental illness card, bro. Like, I feel like that's like the one of the most escape goats, like for everybody that's doing things like this, abuse or people attacking others. The thing is, dead. though, a lot of those people, I ain't going to say have mental illness, but something happened in their childhood to where that's how they believe that they're showing that they love people, bro. Like, unfortunately, that's a thing. I'm not saying that it's a good thing. I'm just saying that that is a thing, unfortunately. No, no, you're right. I'm not saying you all, it's like you you become how you raise, technically. Like Definitely. definitely and I feel like that's why I don't feel like it's a mental illness issue. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, if I believe, if I raise that, I don't, that I pray a certain way, or if I eat a certain thing, like, you know what I'm saying? You may be raised differently where you don't do what I do. That don't mean like I have a mental illness. It means like, I believe, like you said, that's how I show my affection. That's how I show my beliefs. That's how I show my love. So I feel like that's, that's like what it is. And I feel like it's not right, but you know, they feel like that is right. So it's like, you can't really say, oh, you have a mental illness because I feel like that's everybody using that as an excuse. Like if I came in, in your house, beat up your family, everybody in the house, brutally like bruise everybody. Like they, you were like in crunches and everything. People go say, Sino Javon had a mental illness. Um, Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it should be harsh punishments for that. Especially, you doing that in front of in front of the baby, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and that's when oh, I feel, yeah. and that's why I feel like with people in these abusive relationships, not the people that can't leave. I'm talking about the people that actually has a support system. People dare to get you out of that situation, and still going back. I feel like that's being selfish, especially if you have kids. With that young nigga balling, putting numbers on the board. I'm just stacking up the money, stack it up, it's never gone. What she say?